Hey, welcome to or back to Barbie Co Productions. So back a while ago, I used to do these room box setups on my TikTok account and people seem to really like them. So I thought I'd try one out on YouTube. So today's setup is more of a photo shoot backdrop. And if you want to see any of the final result pictures, I'll have them all up on my Instagram. So to start off with, I have this little cupboard that I got from my local craft store that I painted up because it actually used to be this color. And of course I've got to add some plants. I also have this little board I made to sit the plants on. I also made up this little fishing basket which I glued a bead and two wheels off a broken Barbie skateboard on. And of course, some dolls. And for anyone who would like to make some dolls of their own, I actually have a tutorial already up on my YouTube channel. But other than that, let's continue. I also have this chair I got from my local craft store that I painted up as well. And a little pillow that I made up. And believe it or not, this artwork actually used to be the packaging for a bar of soap. Same with all the rest of this artwork. I also made up a mini game of throwing rings to go in here. Now, I like this room and all, but I think it needs something else. Like a character. Yeah, while we're here, we may as well make a new character. Now, just who to choose. There's so many great options here, I'm actually not sure which doll to pick. This one's really cute, but so is this one. So I definitely think it's between these two dolls and I'm kind of leaning more towards this one. I'm not sure why. So let's start. The things I'll need to customize her are 100% acetone, cotton tips and toothpicks, your doll and some acrylic paint. I start by removing all the old lipstick with 100% acetone. Now, if you are using 100% acetone, please be super careful and have parental supervision as it is a chemical. And I also remove her old freckles, but don't worry, we'll paint them back on later. Much better. Take a cotton ball and a toothpick to make your own mini cotton bud. I also use the same 100% acetone to remove all the eyeshadow. Perfect. Next, I use a mini paintbrush to add her lip color back on. And a toothpick to change her eye color. Super cute. And not much left to do now. I take some brown acrylic paint and a mini paintbrush so I can paint over her eyebrows. There we go, that's better. Now just to add her freckles back on. Aw, she looks so cute. I take this doll stand that I made up and put her head on it so I can brush her hair out. I spray her hair down with some water and brush it out. I also give her hair a quick trim as it looks like her hair has previously been brushed a lot. You, 
I use my finger to make a part line down the middle of her head. And tie her hair into two little ponytails. And that's her face and hair all finished. And for her body, I'm using this body that I found on AliExpress. I add some elastic bands around the neck peg as it makes her head stay on a lot better. And then I slowly struggle to try and get her head onto the body. But in the end, it finally popped on. I made her up a little dress and some leggings to go underneath it. I give her some white high tops and sit her in the set. And she's all finished. Personally, I think she looks super, super cute, and I can't wait to take some pictures in this set. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like and drop a comment down below letting me know what you think, and maybe even subscribe. Today's shoutouts go to Michelle Martlu and one or three na four for leaving super sweet comments on my channel. Bye. Bye bye.